you're, you're going to play rugby. You want full on energy. OK, if I give all the guys pizza in the office at lunchtime, OK, afternoon's a nightmare. They all fall asleep. Yeah. yeah. OK, so, so how do you maximise the energy with the right nutrition? Because then you can eat what you like at night, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so basically, again, everything. Oh, yeah. Everything. I mean, everything I do. So everything I. When I started playing, right, and it's actually just before I met Chloe, I'd always gone and sought out, and this is my point earlier, about there's always people doing stuff better than you, and there's always better experts, and you should never take the first piece of advice that you that you get. You should always research around, look at different things, but also don't follow false prophets. Just like the Bible said, I'm not religious in any way, but it's a great thing to take out of it. There's people online telling you the dream. There's people online saying, pretending that life is always great. You know, I could take photos next to supercars all day long, and you wouldn't know whether they were mine or not. I mean, you'd have a pretty good guess they probably weren't mine, but the, you know, the, the, we just gotta be careful who we, who we believe in. And when I first started playing, I sought out different nutritionists to help me improve my performance. Because again, I saw it as a major area of performance for mental health, for sleep, for exercise, for energy, for achieving my goals. And I did different things. It was only when I started actually dating Chloe and she showed me about tracking food and brought everything back to the understanding of calories and understanding that what I tried to achieve was was around my goal. So, you know, that I was at times in my career trying to eat like a men's health cover model, even though I didn't have the face for it. Uh, you know, I had a body like Baywatch, face like Crime Watch. I was not, um, I was not able to, <laughs> thank you. I was not, I was doing it wrong. So I was under eating for my performance. Then when I started seeing Chloe and some other nutritionists, they were like, listen, you're a performance animal. You are not supposed to look, you're not, you know, if you have a six pack and you're genetically able to manage that, that's fine. But your goal is performance. It's, it's exercise and it's recovery from exercise. So then you need to look at the makeup of your, of your, of your diet. And that's what we would do. And you're right. The reason a load of people have kids and they send their kids off to school and halfway when it comes to 11 o'clock, the kids have all lost the plot because they've been eating really high yeah. sugar cereals and they've had nothing else. That's where they go wrong. So, you know, if you have, I mean, Chloe will tell you the kind of performance diet that you would want, but I center things around plate composition. So I imagine my plates like a pie chart and I think, right, Protein is the, is the basis of what I'm trying to do, everything I'm trying to do. The next thing I, I think about myself is like performance, I need to fuel my performance. So that is that is my carbohydrates, but the correct one, you know, uh, the correct kind of version. And the next thing I would say is fats. For people who had a, a, a like an aesthetic goal, protein again, priority, maybe, you know, less carbs, maybe, you know, whatever it would be. I mean, what, what would you recommend as kind of an almost a performance diet for office? This is like, it's, it's uh, to butcher the Bible again, you know, feed a man a fish or teach a man to fish. We are just, but we are not religious at all. Yeah, <laughs> Taking what we want from it and then throwing it away. Um, you know, it, people, oh, <laughs> so bad. Um, it, it's really simple. Everybody could just Google this. So there's, there's three different energy systems, right? In the body, if you're talking about like fast release, power and that will be like think shot put right just like bam done that's yeah. uh, creatine so kind of uh, supplementing with creatine is a really good thing to do if you're talking about more kind of high intensity interval training which is like for example sprint stop sprint stop you're talking about uh, the glycolytic system which is essentially um fast release carbohydrates so blood sugar and yeah. slow release carbohydrates so for james before a game james actually rugby players actually have all of these which is great fun um actually i'll finish it uh, and then if you're talking um more about like long endurance like marathon marathon running kind of thing you're talking about everything from oxygen to blood glucose to stored glycogen which is a, uh, stored in the muscle to fatty acids so that's everything okay James, as a rugby player, fell under all of these brackets. So he supplements with creatine, um, and that's something that pretty much I would say anybody with an aesthetic goal or a strength goal should do. Did it not be just everybody, right? Sorry, I, I take it in the morning as well. Got yeah, I, I it's well, good love for that. Too, right? No? No, that's brilliant. I love that you do that. And I think everybody should as well. It, it, it's re basically it's stored in the muscle. It's a great source of energy and it's really important just for strength and kind of ability to, to train, to move. Um, so yeah, that's great. And then for him, the night before is when we do the slow release carbs. So he'd have like a big bowl of like brown rice and salmon. So a big fatty acid protein source. And that would store in the muscle is glycogen and in the liver as well. And then in the morning before a game, it would be a lot more like fast release carbohydrates, you'd supplement with caffeine, anything that would really get him up and going. In this way, he had stored energy, 
he had quick release energy and he was supplementing with creatine so he could go between the energy systems which meant that he was safe basically to get to go through i mean what's the longest game you played you want about 116 minutes of or rugby like, yeah, like are you joke it was awful and he uh and he was ready to go and this is and the thing is i say all this now and people might be like well this is way over my head you could just google this like it's broken down and it's like i say the feed amount of fish analogy as soon as you understand what your body's doing you can very quickly yeah, different people different though okay yeah but they, but they are but no what i'd yeah, say but to you is... just you would just look at that basic breakdown and go okay what's appropriate for me like what do i need like most of my clients love to go running i don't understand it i hate running but they love it and i'm like okay this is it and they, all they have to do is just read it what applies to me take it and make it your own and this is what i mean about Get, like teach a man to fish as soon as you understand it you're set for life like just put in the effort and you're set